assalamu alaikum dear students i hope you all are fine at home and you are studying well today we are going to read mathematics concepts of grade 4th from page number 14 it is about roman numerals it is the last topic of our chapter 1 today i am going to explain you about the roman numbers we had already seen that roman numbers in your assessments and in your test as well whenever we are going to divide a question into sub parts we use that roman counting so how we make that roman counting today we are going to study about it it's very easy and very interesting concept for you as we have in our counting these 10 numbers from 0 to 9 and by rearranging all that 9 or 10 numbers we can write our counting from 0 to 1000 lakh and so on same like this in roman counting we have basic seven numbers from that basic seven numbers we can write our roman counting till 1000 and goes on now i am going to explain you about that numbers in roman counting for number 1 we have to write the numeral i for number 5 we have to write numeral v for number 10 we have x and these all the numbers in capital letters for 50 we have l for 100 we have C for five hundred D and for thousand we have M. Now how we rearrange all that numbers to make our counting till thousands? I'm going to explain it to you. It's very easy and an interesting way. So look at look here. It's one. For one we have I. Two for two we have two I. Three. For three, we have to write three capital I. Now leave four for once for a while. For five, we know very well we have V. Now I'm going to tell you about four because four is just one step before five. So we are going to write uh, I before V because four is one step before five. So we have to write I. before v and we make our four in roman same like this in six because six is one step ahead or one step after five so we have to write v i for six this is the important thing which you have to be understand then it's easy for you to make all the counting till 1000 now for seven we use v i i it means 5 6 7 7 for 8 we use v i i and i it means 8 now leave about the 9 i am going to explain you first about 10 for 10 we know very well that we have a capital x and 9 is just one step before 10 so we have to write 1 i before 9 I hope you understand that concept, and it's very easy for us after write it till ten, make it till twenty. Now look here how we do it. For that Roman counting, we just have to put a capital X before it so that it becomes twenty one, it becomes twenty two, it becomes twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Oh, I'm sorry. It is eleven, ten, and one. It is eleven. It is twelve. It is thirteen. It is fourteen. It is fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and for two x we have here twenty. We have here twenty for two x. same like this we are going to increase the number of x here and our counting will be increases till 40 our counting will be increases till it is 
it is 31 our counting will be increases till 40 and we know very well that for 40 we have to write that for 40 we have to write here x l why we have to write xl for 40 because we know very well that for 50 we have to write l and 40 is just 10 step before 50 so we have to write 10 before l x before l so 40 is xl same like this you can write 400 we know it is c and for 90 because 90 is 10 step before 100 so we have to write for 90 it is x c same like this you have counting till thousand in your page number 14 here you can see it very easily and understand it as well same like this for 400 it is c, c d because 500 it has d so it's very easy you have to learn that roman numeral table then you can easily find your counting in roman numerals now we have to solve regarding that concept we have to solve our that build up question number one question number one of brush up and question number two here i am going to explain to you how we have to solve it for question number one it is write roman numerals from one to twelve so for question number one you have to write it like this write numbers here and roman numerals here draw a line in the center and write your counting from one to twelve one for i two for two i three for three i and four we have to write i v same like this we have to write counting till 12 now move on for that question number one write 523rd in words it is an ordinal number 523rd from that rd we clearly understand so you have to write it in ordinal number you know very well in spellings it is 523rd for question number two write the following in roman numbers you have some numbers and you have to write that numbers in roman numerals so for this you have to follow that pattern as again for part a it is 35 so first you have to write from the bigger numeral it is 30 so we have to write roman numeral for 30 it is 3x and for 5 v for 60 we have lx why lx because l is for 50 and after x it means that we write 60 110 so first c for 100 and x for 10 514 so 500 has d 14 has 1x and i v 2570 has 2000 thousand has m so 2m for 500 we use d here and for 70 it is l and 2x because l is 50 and after x is 60 and one more x after it it is 70 100 1345 i hope you can write its answer by yourself it is 1000 use what word we use for thousand it is m and for 300 you have to write how many c's 3 c and for 45 you have to write here the value of 40 and then 5 i hope you can solve it by yourself 40 has xl and 5 has v it is very easy and i hope you enjoy doing that roman counting this is the last concept of our chapter number one to revise your all the concepts of chapter number one you can solve workbook from page number four till page number till page number 11 this is the last page of your chapter 1 you can solve that 8 pages as a revision of your chapter 1 and as the week 3rd homework as well you have to solve 2 pages daily 2 pages on the daily basis and it's your revision and you can easily understand the concepts of this here I have some new question here for you color the number that can be rounded off to the nearest hundred in, in this you have to round off the numbers which are you have to 
in this you have to color the number only which are rounding off to the nearest hundred so you have to find the numbers first it is 63 66 77 109 134 95 58 55 these are the number which you can round off to the nearest hundred so i hope you can understand it and you can solve it by yourself see you inshallah in my next video with our chapter 2 edition till then allah hafiz